I am in New York City and I am gonna be here for a bit. Yeah, and I am um, moving to New York. I mean, I moved to New York. I am here, I am, I have moved. I have done the deed of moving to New York and I am moved to New York. I'm still working remote, so I will be working from here. I have always wanted to move to New York and I didn't think it would happen this way. But you know what? That's how life is. You think you know what's going on and then life is like, you thought, you thought. For how long, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm not staying here for just a couple days like I usually do. I feel like I know New York, but I really don't know you know. <laughs> so it's like a new chapter that I didn't expect to happen this way. I don't know if I'm being dramatic, okay? Just, just let me have my moment, okay? Just let me let me be dramatic, or let me be dramatic. Because I've been living at home. I want some drama in my life, you know what I'm saying? This is editing Greta, just here to say that um, we truly did get some drama in our lives with this move. She had no idea. Just keep watching. So the contractors of this apartment are, they decided after the people who lived here that they're gonna redo the entire kitchen, which is like great. I'm like, okay, I can use an upgraded kitchen. Like that's really fine. Um, so they're still working on it. So I can't really live here right now because there's dust everywhere. So I packed a suitcase from my suitcases. <laughs> I packed from these suitcases another suitcase and I'm going to my friend, uh, my friend Ramia. She let me basically couch surf to her apartment, in her, at her apartment. So I'll be staying with her for just a couple nights and then I'll be back here. Oh my God. Yeah, it's really weird. It's really weird. I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> but then at the same time, I'm like, I know exactly what I'm doing. Anyways, it is really hot. It's so hot. We have, or I have a tiny little AC unit here. It's tiny. Actually, no, it's not tiny, but it's like small. She's small. But I am just very happy to be here. This is crazy. I'm not in Atlanta. This is like insane. Hola, bella gente. How's it going? The last thing I updated you about was me going to my friend Ramya's place, which I am currently at, because she's moving out, that's why it's so empty. 10 minutes after I told you, after I updated the vlog that I was going to Ramya's place, I did something to my back. I pinched a nerve. And I just suddenly couldn't walk. Yeah. And I think that's what you call sciatica. Yes, I'm only 25. And yes, I did get sciatica. It's possible to get sciatica in your 20s. Um, if you do something stupid like me and lift like luggage that is three times your weight and you do it wrong, it can, can definitely, you know, it's a little recipe for disaster it was really bad i went to the pharmacy i had to take an uber to the doctor he was like you need an mri then went to the pharmacy the pharmacist was so mean to me she was so rude she was making me feel terrible and then i by the time i got my medication i was crying in cvs in target in the middle of manhattan i was freaking out i was like oh my god i can't move into my apartment what am i gonna do i can't even i can't even bend down to pick up a pencil like that's how bad the pain was <sighs> My boyfriend came to the rescue, Tony. He came from DC um, and I just literally called him and I was like, listen, I need your help. I've never needed you more than this moment. 
right now. This is a test. Let's see if he passed the test. I mean, he passed the test. <laughs> um, he came and he helped me out. He's still here. Um, he helped me move in so many things into my apartment. I was like, is this a sign that I'm not meant that I'm not meant to be here? Should I go? Should I take my booty back to Atlanta? Can I not handle New York? I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But my mattress came already to the apartment. Um, some other boxes came and I feel I'm feeling so much better. Don't don't pinch your nerve in your back, okay? Anyways, we are um, staying in my friend Rami's apartment for one more night and then tomorrow, I think tomorrow, we can officially move in. The only issue is that we don't have AC. So I don't know if I can do anything in my apartment. I don't know if I can sleep. I don't know if I can eat. I don't know if I can even like breathe in my new apartment because if there's no AC. So I'm even thinking of like going with Tony to DC because DC is only a three and a half hour drive from New York. So I'm like, maybe I should stay with him until we have AC because I have to leave Rami's apartment by tomorrow. So tomorrow's Saturday. So I don't have anywhere to stay between Saturday night and possibly Tuesday, Wednesday. They knocked down the kitchen, apparently. They just wanted to put in a new kitchen. We didn't even ask for it, which is great. But then again, it's like not even done yet. So we don't even have a kitchen, but that's my update. <laughs> Yikes. Estamos bien, as Bad Bunny would say. Estamos bien. So I am working from here. As I said, I had my first day of work back today. So that was, that was interesting. It was weird to like go from all of that chaos to like my first meeting back at work to be like, hey, good morning. And I'm just like, you have no idea what I've been through. But good morning. You wanna say hi to my vlog? <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go pick up my roommate's desk because Tony brought his car. He drove from DC. So we're gonna pick up her desk. I look like Casper. Maybe get dinner with my roommate. everything and now we go take all of this into the apartment <laughs> from Washington DC um, it is currently what day is it today I lost all track of time it's Monday and it's Monday morning um, it's not morning Greta it is afternoon it is Monday 
noon Monday afternoon okay I've just kind of been working here at Tony's cute little apartment actually it's not little it's huge um going from New York from New York New York to like DC and seeing what you get for a similar price I'm like damn he went to go shadow a nurse neurosurgeon as he does um which I don't know if I've mentioned, he moved up here for med school. So he moved up to DC, I moved up to New York. So we're only like an hour flight away from each other, which is very nice to know. Um, only an hour flight or a two, well on the fast train, it's like two hours and 59 minutes, almost three hours, which is not bad either. And honestly, I kind of like train rides. I actually really like train rides. I feel like I'm in like the Polar Express and I'm like, oh my God, where's my hot chocolate? Where's the, where's the people singing and dancing? I just like the vibes. Like I mentioned yesterday, I don't know if I gave you the whole rundown, but <laughs> basically my apartment was said that it was gonna be ready Tuesday. It was last Tuesday. It wasn't ready Tuesday. There was so much dust from the renovations that they decided to do on the kitchen and the bathroom and it looks beautiful but it's not done there's no ac installed it's really hot it's basically uninhabitable i was like okay i've run out of all of my friends in new york city that i can stay with i just decided you know what i'm just gonna stay with tony because you know he's he's the boyfriend this is what boyfriends do they let you stay at their place he was driving back anyway so i was like let me just hop on in and go with you um so i'm staying here until wednesday morning i leave at like four in the morning on the train back to new york and hopefully 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 the apartment will be ready on Wednesday. I still have to work for the rest of the day, but we're probably gonna do something in the evening. Maybe go to the National Mall, because it's been a hot second since I've been there. Okay, now things are slightly better in the White House. You know what I mean? I'm happy to have a mattress, <laughs> a place that has Wi-Fi. Oh, that's another thing. We don't have Wi-Fi. Oh, I should probably, should probably figure that out. That is a situation. I keep saying the situation because it really is a situation. But we shall see where the day takes us. City. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, our, our apartment is still a disaster. In fact, it kind of looks more of a disaster than when I left. Um, but it's okay. The appliances for the kitchen are here. So they're just setting that up and it's taking a long time. But I was just like, okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to get some food, get some lunch, and then I'll come back and see what's going on. But my roommate is there. Um, so we just like caught up for a little bit and she's setting up her room. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to look for some food now. Something healthy, you know? Hola, bella gente! Oh my 
my god. This video is... I think you're caught up on the whole drama of moving into my New York City apartment. Um, everything's fine now. Everything is fine. Uh, my back is better. Um, I can walk. My The kitchen is renovated. That's done. We have a kitchen now. The bathroom and the tub are done. Um, I've moved everything into my room. My roommate's room is set up. We have a couch, so everything is good. I came to DC for Tony, my boyfriend, my boo thing. His white coat ceremony. Oh my God. His white coat ceremony for medical school is today. Oh my God, estoy nerviosa, estoy nerviosa. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I think just because I've seen him like go through so much stress and so much uncertainty and rejection and acceptances and just everything that he's gone through for this moment. Oh my god. My apartment is okay now. I am okay now. You know, that was New York City's welcome. It was kind of like a, hey girl, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, yes. And then New York was like, okay, let me show you what it's like. And then it showed me what it's like. And I'm like, oh my God, we're going to go, we're going to head over soon. And I'm so nervous. I'm going to cry. I'm a hundred percent going to cry. I am going to go get ready, finish getting ready. And then go get his parents.